Hi everyone, today we're going to be making this lovely wreath design card using mostly Spellbinders products but the sentiment is from Pink Fresh Studio and I'm going to be using my Spellbinders Glimmer foil system as well for the sentiment. So this is the die set, it's called Wreath Builder and it's got some lovely um, elements to create a wreath and what I've done is the sort of foliage parts I've cut from green and I've done this really just because I wanted to work out what card size I needed so I'm just working out the placement so I've cut two each of the sort of curved foliage and that creates a nice sort of circle and then you've got all the other elements which I'm probably going to snip into to sort of make the the wreath fuller and I will cut the flowers when I need them but at this point I just cut them so I could get an idea of the placement and how many I needed to go around the sentiment really. So I've got my Spellbinders Glimmer machine and some some white, I think this is Sizzix white cardstock I've got and I'm going to foil with gold. This is the Spellbinders foil I've got. So I just need a small piece. These Pink Fresh Studios um, foil plates, I want to call them dies, but they're plates, aren't they? Um, but they do come with matching dies, which I love because then you don't have to stress about getting any overfoiling or worrying about that. So I'm taping this in place just so it doesn't move. And I'm just going to wait for my foil machine to heat up. And when it's ready, that middle button will light up. Oh, there we go. Um, so I can now place this with the metal plate facing up. And then I press that button for the timer. And I just wait. It only takes a minute or so. And I find it, the glimmer system works really well. I know other foil systems have quite complicated different settings for different materials and things. I find with the glimmer it's quite straightforward. If I'm just doing a sentiment, I literally follow the timings that the machine has. So as soon as this light stops flashing, I'll take it out, run it through my machine. If I'm using, say, a full plate that's like a whole background, then I will just leave it on the platform heating up for maybe 30 seconds before I press the timer button. Because I find if it's a solid whole background, you just need to give it a little bit more time to heat. And that's kind of as complicated as you need to get, I find. And I don't have massive issues with overfoiling doing that method. So that's foiled beautifully. I can grab the coordinating die to cut it out. And then this is going to be the perfect sentiment to go in the centre of my wreath. So I'm just going to use a bit of Sizzix Maker's Tape to hold this in place. The foiling is lovely and kind of delicate on this sentiment. Um, I really like it. I actually bought two of these. I've got this one that says celebrate and then I bought a best wishes one as well. I thought they were both really good sort of general sentiments. Um, but I must have a look actually if they've got any more because I do really like the font of this and the sort of delicate look it has. I think it looks really nice with foiling because I think anything where you're adding metallics or foiling, anything like that, you want to keep it subtle. Otherwise it can look a bit tacky really. So I think this is a lovely, lovely subtle one. So I can pop that on and then I can work out my wreath around it. So I'm just going to add a few dots of glue. I'm just using PVA glue. This is the Studio Light glue. Um, I, this is my favourite glue because it does have a really good nozzle on it. You can put tiny dots of glue with this. And then for the wreath, as I say, I've cut four of these, two of each design. And I don't want it to be too perfect. So I'm just working the rough placement out. And then I'll stick these down. And then with the other pieces, I'll probably um, snip into them because they're very straight. I think with this wreath, actually looking at the packaging, you're, you're meant to kind of create more of an oval than a circle with it. Um, 
and cross over the straight ones sort of towards the bottom but I did want a circle-ish wreath because I'm going with a square card so um, it's very easy to adapt this to whatever shape you want really but I do find that the the straight leaves are too straight to go with a complete circle so for those I'm probably going to snip them in half there we go so that's my rough rough circle and then I can sort of shape it a little bit more with these leaves um, and this is the beauty really of having lots of little elements because you can play around with it and even if you don't get a very good circle in the first place you can kind of fill it in to create that um, and you know a real wreath wouldn't be perfectly symmetrical so I think this is quite a nice look so I've grabbed some uh, this is Sizzix cardstock I've got here it's called Dusty Rose this colour I didn't want to add too many colours so I'm sticking to a very very simple colour palette here so I've sped this up a bit because um, we're just going to be cutting out the flowers and adding them on. So for the flowers, I've kept it simple. I've for, There's two different sort of flower shapes and the dies cut two flowers. So it's very simple, but I've cut both from the same dusky rose colour. Um, I didn't want to add too many colours, but obviously if you wanted a bit more variation, you could cut the different shapes from different shades. So I've got dusky rose for those. And then you've got dies to cut... The, the full flowers have got centres, so there's a die that cuts the sort of um, the round circle and then you've got one that lays on top with dots on so you can see the, the round shape coming through. So really quick and simple but really gives a nice effect. So I'm going to use cream card for the background piece and then I'm going to go in with some yellow for the top piece just to give a nice kind of, I don't know what sort of flower it would be, a bit like a like a daisy I suppose um, and then there are some other sort of flower buds and I'm going to cut those from cream so it's going to have very subtle colours um, with the pink being the sort of main colour scheme for this so I'm just popping those on as always I'm using my studio line studio line studio light <laughs> PVA glue and then a, a pickup tool just to pop the small pieces in and then I'm going to play around with the leaves because um, this is looking a little bit sparse at the moment I've got my wreath shape but I think it needs filling out and kind of evening out a bit it, it is a little bit wonky looking um, and I can correct that by adding in some more leaves and, and making it look a bit fuller because it is quite um, quite sort of spindly at the moment so these are flower centre pieces and now we're on to the leaves so as you can see these are very straight you could manipulate them they're only thin so if you really wanted to with glue you could actually curve them a bit but what I'm doing is snipping them in half then I can sort of follow the curve but have them sticking out slightly so it creates the look of a fuller wreath and fills it out nicely so I'm just going to add a few of these here and there just to fill out the wreath. You can see there are quite a few areas like where the flowers are where there's no leaves on the on the sort of first layer. So I'm just going to fill that out. But you can see these are very straight. These would be great to use independently actually to create like a little spray with the flowers um, if you wanted to do something different than the wreath with this set. So the next thing is to put this on a card front and I'm going to matte and layer it. I've got a white card, but I've cut out some sort of aqua card. I thought this would go really nice with the pink. I didn't want to, I, I did look at put, to putting pink, but it was too much of the same colour. This is a nice contrast. So just have a nice border around the edge. So I'm just going to pop this on with double sided tape and then my card will be finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will put details in the description box of all the products used. And if you are interested in the Glimmer system, I have got another video 
um, if you scroll back through my videos I did a video on how to use it so I know it's been on Create and Craft the last week with a new version of the machine so if you're new to glimmer foiling I do have a video on that you might want to check out thanks for watching and I'll see you soon